Hi friends! So I thought we'd do something a little different today because I wasn't actually going to do a chocolate video today but then I remembered that I didn't do a chocolate video last week so I thought I'd better do a chocolate video today. So we're going to make blueberry flavoured coconut white chocolate bark. Let's go! So let's talk ingredients but first let me mention that my daughter does not want me to make a chocolate video today and also it's vlogging down with rain so if there's a lot of background noise I'm sorry but you know what are you gonna do it's children in the weather you can't control either of them so white chocolate obviously it's um this kind Aldi chopper 200 grams one full block in the bowl getting nicely melted and then we have this little friend Sorry, this lighting in here is just atrocious, but this is blueberry flavored oil. Let me see if I can make that focus better. There we go. Blueberry flavor from Loran Oils, one dram. And yeah, so some calculations that were a bit hard to do because a dram is not a very commonly used measurement. And because this is an American company, of course they use imperial instead of metric so when they said how much you should put into your chocolate it was like one quarter to one half of a teaspoon per pound so then I'm like okay well I don't have a whole pound and what even is a pound because nobody in the rest of the world uses that but anyway whatever so we have some of this and some chocolate and we're gonna just make it up as we go along because that's how I roll and here we have organic just organic coconut chips and you can see here this extensive ingredient list are you all right dear she's fine this extensive ingredient list is um coconut 100 percent and of course organic because when you're making something as healthy as white chocolate coconut bark it's important to use organic ingredients and of course I'm joking this is just what I happen to have in my cupboard so I'm just gonna let this get melted and then we'll get mixing and that sort of stuff okay so we got the chocolate to a good workable consistency and then my phone died and then the baby started to have a meltdown but we have solved those two problems hopefully so we're here now and we're going to put some blueberry flavoring into our chocolate and I figured if it wants a quarter to a half of a teaspoon per pound and what I have here is about two fifths of a pound then like half of this should be a good amount hopefully. And if not, then I don't know. I also thought tipping it into here rather than straight into there is probably likely to help me from over, like accidentally tipping the whole thing in. So I'm going to take my, thanks Mush. I'm going to take my this amount of blueberry flavor, put it in here. That's a nice color. And then stir and then I'm going to taste it and see how we've went. Let's taste. This is harder than it should be. I feel like I need a little bit more. I can kind of taste it. But I think because the white chocolate's so sweet, it's kind of overpowering it a little bit. So I'll just add a little bit more, like that much, and stir. Fresh stick, nobody panic. Yep, I can definitely taste blueberry there now but it's not like crazy overpowering. So I'm gonna call that good. I'm gonna just see if I can shake out, there's like half of a drop left in there. No wasted, it's expensive. 
All right, we're gonna stir this through and then we'll go and spread it out on our nice bit of paper here. So we're just gonna scrape it out of the bowl. Give it a spread. And then I think the thing about bark is you kind of want it to be rough. You don't want it to be super smooth. So I'm going to just tap it with the back of my spoon. Okay. And then it wouldn't be coconut blueberry white chocolate bark if we didn't add our organic coconut. So let's do that if I can get the back this is what it looks like and I'm just going to take a little bit of that and give a little sprinkle and I'm going to call that good so that's really bland, especially in this terrible lighting. But I'm going to leave that, or actually I'm going to put it in the fridge to set up. And then we're going to come back and break it up and put it into bags and make it pretty. Okay, so nice and firm now. Not too hard though. I like bark to have sort of sharp angles. So I am going to cut it like this. Like a this way cut and then the opposite way on a pretty sharp angle. So then I'm going to cut sort of this. So that we get diamonds rather than squares. Not that I have anything against squares. I'm not a shapist. Okay, looking good. Okay, let's get this into some bags. Uh, so then because I wasn't planning on doing a chocolate video today, I'm not going to do a label. I'm just going to tie a pretty ribbon around. Thusly, take my scissors and give it a bit of a curl. And call that good, I think. Taste test time. Mm -hmm. You can definitely taste the blueberry, but it's not overpowering. And the coconut adds a nice bit of a sort of crunchy texture to it, which is really nice. So I hope you enjoyed watching. I enjoyed making this video for you. I'll see you next time. Bye.